softly and we can see these skeletons within the dunes. Just yards from the beach at White Sands in St David's, this is where St Patrick is said to have sailed for Ireland in the 5th century. The remains of an old chapel lies here, and with it a mass medieval burial site, neatly stacked in layers. This one is a woman holding a child in her arms. We do get lots of child of burials on this site. We've got, I can't remember the exact numbers, but it's probably about 20 or 30 children burials, child burials. And is that an indication of just how high child mortality was? Yeah, it was a, yes, quite. It was, uh, we forget now just how high it was in the past. So, you know, a thousand years ago, very common for, to lose your, your children in childbirth or soon afterwards. Once the skeletons have been excavated, they'll be sent away to Sheffield University to be analysed. This is now the third season they've been digging here. And what's really fascinating is that some of the bones they've already studied have told them that many of these people weren't exactly local. Some may have come from the Mediterranean. West Wales is where they rest, but it probably wasn't where many started. Our bones can reveal an awful lot. What kind of diets they had, where they grew up, we can work that out sometimes through the um, tooth enamel of them um, and what illnesses they suffered. This site will soon be lost to coastal erosion, but at least now its secrets are being 